Right, hello and welcome back to SnowRunner. And we are still on uh, Foothills. And we are doing necessary repairs, you can see up there on the right. This is a... Um, I think it's an... Auckland Dorf. Is it Auckland Dorf? Auckland Dorf Administration's um, job task. Necessary repairs. So half season is upon us, which means uh, we need to stay on top of the tractor repairs. But with all this rain, we just can't get ready in time. Could you help us out with fuel and check uh, on the shipment for us? <coughs> Help us out with the fuel and check on the shipment for us. The delivery of running late for some reason. So we need to pick up free fuel and take it to the farm. Right, so if I click on free fuel, free fuel is... Let's well, go into the warehouse there, but that's... I take it that's where it's saying pick up the fuel from. But there's only two there. If I come over here, commercial warehouse, they got fuel in here. Um, I take it they've got more than the fuel that we need. Um, and then the other one is vehicle spare parts, which I have no idea where that is. It doesn't seem to want to show up. I haven't got vehicle spare parts there. Town warehouse, I don't think they've got vehicle spare parts. No, they've got service parts, one. But they haven't got vehicle spare parts. Warehouse there. Vehicle spare parts, three. So there's three there. So I could get three from there. I could get two fuel. At the moment, I've got a trailer that holds four, and a uh, and the unit holds one. So I need to probably get three of those. Uh, two fuel from there. I'm going to have to go over to the farm, wherever wherever the farm is. <laughs> um, Auckland Dorf to the farm. Oh, it's in. Uh, so it's on the other map. So that's a bit of a pain, but. Um, I've come through at the bottom for some reason instead of at the top so um this way i can't get through because of a collapsed southern landslide so i could cut through here because i need to get over to here but i need to come through i really could have done with coming through at the top one here i'm gonna have to do a long route round. um that bridge is down i can cut across there i'm here so i'm wondering whether i just go It's a bit of a bind, and it? I need to do some of these bridges. This is all because I want to try and get the, the docks up and going. I might actually come this way and see if I can get over this river here. If I can get over the river here. Up around there. Yeah, that's probably going to have to be the way to go. So, let's jump back out of here. So, I'm in... The, as of 5319, like I say, I've gone back to um, vanilla vehicles. Um, I've got a couple of mod trailers, just hold a little bit more, um, not loads. And keeping the, I've kept the mod, which is the uh, bubble head scanner, which you put on the dash, so that it just helps to unlock the maps easier once you've got the <coughs> watchtowers just scans a little bit more of a larger area than just where you're driving so yeah other than that I'm trying to keep to vanilla vehicles so that's where we are at the moment so enjoy I'm gonna uh, make my way um, get information on any of these jobs as I come past so, show task obstacle on the road Hi there, name is Frank, I'm from Ireland, I took a delivery job in the area but got a bit distracted while driving, ended up damaging the engine, the bugs are fine and the just are connected to, but the T-belt has got jacked up, could you give me a lift to the warehouse? Right, so, I'll accept it but we're not starting that, um, I might get the tractor down. You might tow that out of the way, so I'm going to stop that engine. Put that there. Go to there, jump in that one. Right, I took this, I got this back to the, I've got, I 
had this on that trailer and I dropped it off there because I was gonna I thought I was near the farm, didn't realise I was at the opposite end of the map. Um, so I used this to help pull a few things out as I was coming across. Um, but I've I've done I got the engine for it, didn't I, on the last one. So I'll put the big engine in, I'll put weights front and back, which is not the best idea when you're trying to travel places. Because the front weights get stuck on everything. Um, there is two other gearboxes, but they're on previous maps. So uh, let's have a look, see what we've got. Yes, yeah, so have you look? I've got a great big weights at the front. Let's see if we can uh, over this out of the way. That'll do. Yep, that's cleared the way for the roads. So let's. I might leave this here. I might use this for towing that to wherever it's got to go. Which would. Um, As long as it's on road and nothing else, we'll be alright. So let's jump back into that one. I've got damage on the tire, I did hit something that was coming through when I had the uh, tractor on the back. Uh, but. I'm hoping that I can get across and get the bits I need. Then I'll go out the top tunnel, hopefully. Um, got a crane, so what I might do actually is uh, do a dodgy. I'm free fuel, so I could get. Oh, the trailer, right, let's. Have to quickly check the uh, forward for the hermit. Right, so we unlocked a little bit more. Ah, we got that whole corner. Oh, where else? What have we got here? Uh, service spare parts wouldn't say so service spare. I don't want service spare parts, do I want vehicle spare parts in it? Yeah, vehicle spare parts. Right. right, so there's the way. Right, that's right, so I can follow that over there. Where I'm going. We're getting roughly near where we want to be then. Probably could do with putting a bit of uh, getting through to the morning, but. Yeah, so I could load the free fuel on the trailer then load one big spare parts on the trailer and make the pull one on the bed. Now I'll do one on the thing and I'll bring it up and sit on top with a crane that might hold it. I don't know. Try and cheat a little bit. Double stack it. I'll double stack it on the trailer because I don't think it'll stay on. But if I have the winch holding it or the crane holding it on top of the other one. It may help. You never know. It saves coming back for just one. But then I suppose we could come back with just one with just the vehicle. Because we've got one spare block. But we'll wait and see. We need to find a way across the river. Somewhere. I don't want to go all the way down past the port, to be honest with you. Can you get through down there? There seems to be a vehicle in there. No. No, that goes down to there, so over there. That just goes... Oh no, I need to just carry on around and then go over that bridge. 
Yeah, and then we might have cut up there or we've got to cut around through Western Farm, which we did before. So, yeah, literally, we got to come to there. So, after the port, we've got the Claps Road. Just after the Claps Road, it's the junction after the Claps Road. That's not too bad. Oh, we've got the block road here, haven't we? Well, that's what that cut round is down the bottom there, isn't it? Uh, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, that's what that cut through is. Get round that. I'm going to have to cut down here, I think. Because it's one of them silly traders. I literally cannot reverse. This is a double through here then. The only good thing about this is constant four-wheel drive and constant diff lock. So that's probably going to be the same as Norman slide. It'll be uh, one wood, one concrete blocks. We'll have to do that later. Yeah, I grabbed this trailer because it had four slots and we had ramps, I thought I would be able to lock a vehicle on it, and I did the ramps, but the vehicle, the, the tractor wouldn't lock onto it. It wouldn't secure the load, it just, just sat there and then suddenly just fell off after a while going around the corners. So, right, yeah, so over this bridge, around the back of the port, dock, or whatever you like to call it, uh, Claps Road, and then uh, there should be a, a way down to. Go the wrong way round the roundabout. We should be going the other way. I think. Oh no. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. We should be going the other way. I'm on the wrong side of the road. Oh well. There's nobody else about. It doesn't matter. It's the Clips Road, and then we can take. The next one which takes us over a little bridge which should take us up to where we want to be. No, I didn't knock it over, I thought it might not sign over. I used to. Come on. Get up there. I've got, I've got repair parts on this once I've loaded I might just do a quick repair do my tyre repair my suspension I am ready to go back I love how we've got these really nice bridges over the river but the roads get into them are just like mud pits I know it's like farmland but I'll probably have like a metal track road on there, gravel track or something. Yeah, but it makes fun. It makes it right. And that's where we're heading. I'm going to go that way. I'm going to try and go over where the rocks are. Get a little bit more purchase instead of all that deep mud. Go, that's better. I reckon that mud would have been a pain. We need to open this one though, aren't we? No. This is where we're going to get caught in this lot. Off. Got how good this little truck was. Sorry about that. Shouldn't have sworn. 
That might, I might have just said that, but I might have actually just blanked that out. <laughs> right, let's get free fuel on first. And get ourselves around. Try and go to the other side of that sign if possible. Um, oh, that's not good, is it? I need to get another fuel. Alright, so vehicle parts, vehicle parts. Vehicle parts. We've got no more vehicle parts either. I'm one fuel short and one vehicle part short. That's not good. Oh, okay, close that. So um, let's do repair. One of those. Okay, um, forwards. Oh, uh, come on. Right, so I need one fuel and one vehicle spare parts. Why's this suddenly got a turning circle of an ocean liner? Right, I'm going to have a quick look see if I can find out where there's one more of each. I'm not going to be able to get them on this. Um, I miscalculated because it's four and then three, and I, would have, I was thinking, oh, yeah, I'll be able to get five on there and two on there, and yeah, but I'm not. So yeah, I'm going to have a quick look see if I can find some other bits and go from there. So I will be back in a short while. Right, I found... The warehouse on this map has got fuel. Um, don't know how many. Hopefully, as long as it's got one, and I'm going to try and try that trick and putting it on top of this one on the back bed of the truck and hold it with a winch. Um, then I can deliver the fuel and three of the service vehicle spare parts, and then we can look for the last one, which then I can leave the trailer and just go looking for it in the as off with this. So. Um, so I've just got to basically make my way back towards the top tunnel. I'm going the right way for the bridge. Yeah, there it is. Um, so I can just then go with the Azov as is. Um, I will need to top up bits and pieces at some point. Low range, it was just had a bit of a struggle there. Into the auto box once we're up the hill. A fair old bit of weight on this now, though. I'm probably fine if I get when I get to that warehouse where the uh, it's and the other fuel is. I'd have been in there to go there and get all three from there, but. I don't know if that means whether we can re um, restock them or not. So, but you'd need to have a fuel depot, wouldn't you, to get them and then put them in there. 
and that's because you'll just get fuel from the fuel depot instead. All the unmet soft stuff. Quick look. Oh, I should have gone the other. I wanted to go the other bridge. I was supposed to go that way and go over that bridge. Oh, we're done, Matt. We'll take the right and we'll follow that round. Yep. Roughly going to take us to the same place. Well, it's going to take us to the same place, just in a slightly different route. Low range. Is it soft and uphill? We're playing a fair old water cargo. I don't know about you, but sometimes it's a little bit, f a little bit more fun when you're playing with the uh, original vehicles, and it's just a little bit more. Um, taxing but a little bit more you have to think about where you're doing and where you're going make sure you're getting the right gear get the right um, things engaged to get you through um, like this we're coming to the water now so I'm trying to see if there's a bit where it's a little bit look as though it's going to be easier to get through than others I think I'm going to go right hand side so that's soft moment we're going right hand side so like where that dead tree is, try and clip that edge there and see if that'll have a bit more grip on it. Which it did. It's alright. See some to that bank. And get some traction. There we go. Too bad. Are we in on this way? I'm going to carry on this way anyway. It's all going to get me there in the end at some point. So, which way? If we're carrying down this, we get on the road. Yeah, so just doing that. So we'll keep right, go down onto the road, turn left, road, and then we're off round. I'll we'll go to this commercial. This commercial's got fuel. It hasn't got vehicle spare parts, but it's got fuel. So that hopefully will help. Probably might not be the best way to go because it looks a bit. <laughs> that looks a little bit suspect, but we're going to go for it. Hopefully there'll be uh, winch points if required. Bring low range, we'll just give it a low range. We'll just uh, plod through. We're getting low on fuel. Then we need to refuel. Right, we're now out of spare fuel. We've got to hope we can get up to the warehouse, get that fuel and get through to the other side. And if we can get through to the other side at least I can then send a vehicle out with your body on the back and then fill this up and then I might actually come through and then sit it over by the farm somewhere else, sit it by the uh, entrance so we've got a fill up point whether it be uh, a trailer or a uh, a vehicle probably easier if it's a trailer. I think if it's a vehicle, I can then just take it up and refill it. Or a, or a trailer, you've got to send a vehicle out to pick it up, put it back, and just jump in the vehicle and come back, fill it up, take it back out again. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so this is where Northern Slide was that we uh, cleared out, which has made it easier this way to get through. Or well, we would have actually gone the other way and popped out here or on this road. 
Well, that has made life a wee bit easier then. We just need to do that summer slide at some point. Actually, I should have, I should have gone this way because I actually now just made myself a little bit harder to get around, never mind. lucky. I'm glad that song was sitting out from the uh, barrier. <laughs> right, so that should be the warehouse there. Um, road to get there. And what I will do though is I think I'm going to uh, go round. Yeah, I'm going to go round. So I'm facing. Oh, actually, no, I'll be able to go the other way. So if I go this way. out brain road let's uh, move crane Take cargo. And then lower. We need to the crane had been put away. Okay. We gotta be careful then because then it's just balancing on the top. We could lose those. gonna have to go with it if it falls off it falls off but we're there we've got three could have taken the vehicle spare parts off really couldn't I and then uh, put it on that way but it seems to be sitting reasonably sturdy at the moment so 
Let's just see how we get on. If anything, I'm going to be struggling with fuel more than anything else at the moment. Uh, 23 litres. If I can get up to the tunnel, we'll be alright. Going to low range straight off. There's not too much of a. Uh, It's a fair old bit of movement sideways there when it looks expensive that just slides straight off the top but we're doing all right we're uh, getting away with it we are getting away with it all right my well, 13 litres just got to get up and round to the tunnel we'll get through Standard auto box, 11 litres. Uh, four arms, you cannot be safely placed over. Uh, now we're going to accept anyway. I said that last time. Well, that was with the tractor, but I don't understand why it wouldn't let me do it this time. Oh well, we'll see. Right, I don't understand why it wouldn't let me, but oh, it was saying it was going to have struggle, but we got it through. Right, so we need to get this to the farm. And send the farm over there. I am on six litres of fuel. Stop in here. Let's have a look. So, right, we've uh, sorted out the Airframe uh, SX, which was the second one we picked up. We've put the radar on and all the bits. We've got a bit of recovery stuff, service kit with fuel and tyres. So, uh, we're going to find a way. I've got a tow hitch on the back, so I can always pick up that service trailer if I need to. So I'm thinking I might try and go to the uh, farm first and pick up that service trailer. Because I can pick that service trailer up. I can go there and I can fuel it and, and put it up near it. So I'm thinking we need to go around the long route, pick that up, and then we can go over to here with the AS office, uh, fill it up and fuel it and all that sort of jazz. So, I will probably either um, time lapse this or um, just do jump cuts uh, to bits where it's really bad. I'm just trying to get this. There we go, that's better. What we drive on, I think it's always constant um, diff. See how well this is gone wrong already. Start. I'm just going to go that way. I'm just going to go up that way, and that's not the way I want to go. over here so I think this is just a fuel and service trailer
Okay. Okay. I won't take that one. So I should have put the heavy on, but then I didn't realise it was going to be coming here, did I? So. Well, we can get this one. This has got fuel in it. Now he's off on recovery. Let's put some beacons on. bad this next bit's going to be. Um, two here. I'd like to know what's there. Oh, hold on, let's have a look at what's here. Beam cement, small pipes, metal pipes, right? Okay, that's no good for what we're after. It takes you to, yeah, right. So we'll go this way. This is where we found one of the uh, upgrades, wasn't it? Yeah, it was there. Look, the cars to the left. Good. I'm sort of following the route, but not. <laughs> Always just seem to be off to the side of it. sticking out there, gotta watch that. Yeah, they'll get caught on that just for some reason. Oh to go quite a bit. That's it. Don't want to go down there. That could have been nasty.
think I've been through this bit before. I sort of remember this. It's foggy, but not impossible, if you know what I mean. It's, it's there we go, we're on the road, which is the slightly and we can get down to the Azov now. We'll fill her up. going to stay on there or not but we'll give it a go so literally just through the waterlog bit look all right and then follow our nose all the way around we'll leave the airframer there for the moment because we're not going to need it good thing is if it falls off <clears throat> you can pick it up with a crane. We'll just see how much it moves. <laughs> 